This has been another edition of Teacher M's Presents. PBSAP or the Philippine Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan. The PBSAP vision. By 2028, biodiversity is restored and rehabilitated, valued, effectively managed, secured, maintaining ecosystem services, to sustain healthy, resilient Filipino communities, and delivering benefits to all. The Overview of the Philippine Biodiversity the Philippines hotspot is identified as one of the world's biologically richest countries with 7,107 islands that fall within its borders. The country's terrestrial and marine habitats contain some of the richest biodiversity of flora and fauna. Philippines is one of the most important centers of amphibian and reptile diversity in Southeast Asia. The Philippines' unique biodiversity makes it among the top priority hotspots for global conservation. The Philippines derives services from biodiversity, which include the following. Water. The Philippines' watersheds and aquifers could supply 479 billion cubic meters annually for domestic, industrial, and agricultural uses. Pharmaceuticals. Plants are used for common illnesses like cough, pain, tooth decay, and diarrhea. Food. Every square kilometer of coral reefs can supply up to 30 tons of edible and economically important fish every year. Biomass fuels, the gas, coconut husks, and shell can account for 12% of total national energy supply, while sugar, rice, and coconut can produce 90 megawatts, 40 megawatts, and 20 megawatts, respectively. Why biodiversity matters to Philippine development? The Philippines has a population of 100 million with a poverty rate of nearly 25%. Biodiversity and ecosystems are key to lifting people out of poverty, contributing to the economy, and strengthening the country's resilience to climate change. The Philippine Ecosystems some of the facts and figures about the Philippine ecosystems. The forest goods trade amount to 114 billion US dollars for 2012. Inland water or wetlands harbor 316 fish species, 38% are endemic and 76% are threatened. Cagayan River is the longest, largest, and widest river in the Philippines. Laguna Lake is the largest lake which provides various products and services to more than 13 million people. Agusan Marsh Wildlife Sanctuary is where the biggest and largest saltwater crocodile was caught in 2011. The Philippines, being at the apex of the Coral Triangle, is considered to be the richest marine ecoregion in the world. The Philippine Species in terms of wildlife species management, scientific expeditions carried out through partnership agreements between the DNR and various local international academic and research institutes have led to continuous discovery of new species with many more awaiting discoveries. The Philippine Thematic Areas City biodiversity exposes urban residents to an environment or landscape which facilitates their appreciation for nature. It provides opportunities for recreation, health, relaxation, and community cohesion. Green area accessibility has been linked to reduce mortality and improve perceived and actual general health. Agrobiodiversity has been developed through the application of the knowledge and skills of farmers, herders, and fisher folk in a wide range of agroecosystems. The knowledge it has produced is key to global food security because of their wild relatives. Based from 2013 data, the agriculture and fishery sector contributed an estimated 701 billion Philippine pesos to the country's GDP. Key biodiversity areas represent the most important sites for biodiversity conservation worldwide. The National Invasive Species Strategic and Action Plan aims to prevent new introduction and spread of invasive species to effectively manage their impacts on biodiversity. Reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation conserves biodiversity and maintains ecosystem functions and services. 
The LGU is responsible for collecting non-recyclable materials and special wastes, while barangay units are given the task and responsibility of collecting and segregating the biodegradable, compostable, and reusable wastes. Policies and land use recognize the need to protect the environment and its natural resources in view of the requirements of future generations. The most vulnerable sectors are women, men, and children of poor and marginalized households and communities that depend on natural or ecological resources for their human development needs and security. The Development Framework of the Philippines This describes how the PBSAP is anchored in the Philippine Development Plan or PDP. While the PDP adopts the framework for inclusive growth, the PBSAP articulates the same direction of pursuing economic growth while protecting the environment. This emphasizes that people are at the core of conservation, protection and rehabilitation, and developmental initiatives. In the pursuit of inclusive growth and poverty reduction, the Philippine government has outlined five major guideposts. Number one is anti-corruption or transparent governance. Number two is poverty reduction. Number three is rapid, inclusive, and sustained economic growth. Number four is just and lasting peace and the rule of law. And number five is integrity of the environment and climate change. The principal pressures of biodiversity loss. Invasive alien species can hasten the extinction of threatened species and reduce the diversity of indigenous and endemic species through predation, competition, parasitism, diseases, hybridization, and species displacement. In the Philippines, some of the direct causes of deforestation are logging, conversion to other uses, caean or slash and burn cultivation, forest fire, and other natural phenomena. A number of mining projects have been alleged to cause forest degradation, physical displacement of indigenous peoples, and cultural dislocations. The country's coral reefs remain under threat from destructive fishing practices, unsustainable coastal development, sedimentation, and pollution. The current climate impacts adversely on water resources, forestry, agriculture, coastal resources, and health and well-being of the people. Intensive use of agrochemicals has been known to create a result to both environmental problems and diseases. The illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing is a blatant aggravating factor, posing impediments to all attempts to manage fisheries resources and fish stocks in the country. The combined factors of hunting for game and food and illegal wildlife trading threaten the population of wild animals. The Policy, Governance, and Financing of Biodiversity Conservation in the Philippines This focuses on the policy, governance, and financing of biodiversity in the Philippines with key environmental laws, technical agencies with resource management functions, and programs in biodiversity, and the country's commitments to international conventions. How the current PBSAP was formulated This examines how the current PBSAP was formulated the regional and national consultations for PBSAP updating process and a project steering committee behind this. The gaps in the previous PBSAP iterations are also here. PBSAP planning process and procedure. The biodiversity strategy and action plan. The direct interventions include restoration of ecosystem functions, promotion of biodiversity-friendly livelihoods, and strengthening law enforcement. Enabling interventions include communication, education, and public awareness, capacity development for biodiversity management, biodiversity conservation-related research, strengthening policy for biodiversity conservation, promotion of biodiversity-friendly technology, and resource mobilization. Outputs include controlled invasive alien species, sustainable practices, reduced pollution, biodiversity-friendly livelihoods, ecosystem functions restored, biodiversity integrated into development plans, improved practices, and awareness increased. The framework's expected outcomes include improved biodiversity status and enhanced ecosystem services. This framework's ultimate goal is to achieve human well-being. The Implementation Plan This deals with implementation needs of the PBSAP and learnings from previous PBSAP implementation. Together, let us all commit to hold biodiversity loss within the Philippines by 2028 
and bring resilience to Filipino communities. This has been Teacher Ams saying, let's all save the Philippine biodiversity. Thanks for watching. Why don't you give this channel some love? Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on the bell notification, share, and comment down below.